Good stuff, man cub. Have you been working out? Been working out eight to nine with my ice cream. Spoonfuls to my mouth. I have an unrelated question. Can I hook up a water cooler to my HP 201 XC and run a water cooled torch for aluminum? Hmm. Damn right you can. Let's go hook this bad boy up. All right, here's the water cooler. We picked this up two or three years ago at a flea market swap meet. The guy didn't know what he had. And believe it or not, we picked it for $50. Yeah, $50. This is a $1,100, $1,200 water cooler. Give it a take, $100 or so. So yeah, uh, he didn't know what he had. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to hook this up to an AHP or any other machine that you have. So let's go ahead and get to it. Here's the air-cooled torch that came with your machine and here's the water water cooled torch we have so you need here's the two fittings this fitting won't fit on the uh, HP so we have to cut this fitting and put it on this or you could buy it off eBay for 12 bucks and put it on this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this uh, that's step number one all right this is a aluminum it's pretty soft so I'm using this bird die grinder with like 80 grit you can use a grinding wheel or cut off wheel uh, make sure you guys don't hold this with your fingers because you can slip and catch your finger use vice grips or neo nose you guys gotta be really careful. You don't wanna take the hose all the way down. So sometimes you have to, uh, sometimes this pops off real easy, like this one's gonna pop off. If they don't pop off, uh, you usually gotta cut another slot on the other side. Then this just pulls apart. We're ready to put it on the water cool torch. Here's your gas hose uh, fitting off the water cool torch. So we're just gonna cut it here with dikes or scissors. I like to use scissors or a good pair of dikes. So we're just gonna go ahead, just like that, and cut it. Cut it straight as you can. I'm using this type of clamp. You can use whatever you want, a hose clamp, like off a car or something. So first I'm gonna put this on the hose. So we're just gonna go just like this. Put it on the hose. And we're gonna get this, the bar bend's gonna go in here. It's a little hard to start. We got that much on, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Then we're gonna go ahead, bring this forward, and go ahead. If this cracks or you actually crack it, just cut it back straight. And you make sure you're holding the, uh, the wire tie in the center of this fitting right here. And this will twist it for you. And you want to twist it where the this barb, this hose is not turning or the barb fitting. So I kind of check it. So it's pretty good. All right, then I cut it. I leave about an eighth inch of uh, from there with a couple twists. Then so no one won't cut themselves. I kind of flip this over just like that. And that's it. So that's our gas hose. Since we got the gas hose uh, taken care of, the next step is a power adapter. It's a 45V11 left-hand thread. So we're gonna take our power cable right here and we're gonna screw it into here. So it's left-hand thread and that's it. The next step is uh, getting a water hose. We need to have this to uh, connect from here, our power adapter to our pump, all right, our water cooler. So get some left-hand left -hand fittings. I recommend getting a hose kit. It's pretty good because you might drop a piece of metal or whatever on your gas hose or whatever and repair it. So just make this left hand thread and we're just gonna screw it onto our power adapter. So give it a good snug and jump over to this side and we're gonna tighten this up. We're good with our uh, wire connection right here on our power adapter. We got our black line that we made up and we got our blue line that came on the water cooled torch originally. So the blue line, we're gonna put it on the water end. This is left hand thread, we're just gonna screw it on. Then you're gonna take your water out, that's the hose you just made up. You're gonna screw it in here. All right, the blue line's the cold water. You want that to run in up to your head of your torch. Then your line you just made, your red, this one's black. Uh, it's gonna be out on your power cable side. So you wanna run this one to the outside. Carries the heat from your head of your torch all the way down to your cooler. We got the lines all secured and tight into the water cooler. So next step, I accidentally forgot, oops. Uh, you wanna protect this because it's a live power. You don't wanna arc out on something, a piece of steel. So you either get this boot, slip it over this, or if, if you're cheap like me or whatever, cut an old glove, put it through it, then wrap the ends with tape so it won't work, it, work itself back or forward. Remember the fitting we made? Uh, we cut off the air-cooled torch. You just put it right here, click it back in the original spot. All right, the next step is get your thick electrode. It comes with the machine. Put it right here in the negative side, tighten it up. Then we're gonna take our other side and plug it into our power block. That's supplying the power to your TIG torch. You hook it up to your power adapter, just like that. You grab your little plastic housing here, wrap tape around it. Then all you gotta do is turn the water cooler on. Then that's it, guys, you're ready to weld. So that's one way of uh, hooking your machine up. Uh, the parts will cost you about 30 bucks. Uh, that's not much. 
It might be a little confusing, but it's only 30 bucks, remember that? Um, and your welding store will likely have all that stuff. Another way is getting this DENS right here. Uh, the part number is DA-1820L. You just hook your, your power connector, your red power connector right there. Grab your, uh, this hose right here and hook it to your pump right here, or your water cooler, and this goes right into your machine. Let me go ahead and show you this way. It's fast and simple. All right, we gotta remove this fitting. Why? Because our power connector, our red cable, goes right in here and it screws in here. So 7 16 wrench, we're just gonna undo this. It's right hand thread, so we, un we undo it normally. Then we grab a flathead. We gotta undo this. This basically holds on that plastic connector. We got our power cable, our red one, so don't forget to put this on. This is very important. Put this on. You're gonna be taking it apart. And all we do is the same thing. It's left hand thread. Then we're gonna tighten this up. And the boot just goes back over. This just stays on with that Phillips head. Then we just put this back in here. You gotta make sure this is a snug water flows through here. And we gotta put you gotta put this boot back over this because power flows through here. We don't want nothing arcing out. And that's it. We're ready to plug it in the machine. All right, that's it, fast and simple. Let us know in the comments below if you guys got any other ideas how to hook them up. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching well.com. I'm Man Cub, learning is key. Stay healthy and stay safe. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys want this, it's $75, all right? Don't, don't hustle me, it's 75 even. Oh yeah, plus shipping. All right, you might see it on eBay or Craigslist. <laughs>